Hey everyone, Amber for the Vault here, and welcome to another, that's right, this is the part two of our villager hunt. Audie moved out, and now we have to go find another villager. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons, of course. We're going to find ourselves a new villager. Let's go ahead and just see who we can find. I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, ladies and gents, I realized at the end of the last video I had said the date wrong, so luckily I caught that. But what I did is I went ahead and went through a few days. We are now in March and Audie wants to move away. And Audie is one of those that I was willing to let go. So, so they're loving her, it's just I need some adventure and excitement. That's okay, Audie. We are gonna let Audie move off the island. I feel a little nervous about it just because I don't know that I want Audie to leave the island necessarily, but it was Audie and Kat that I was willing to let go. So we're gonna go ahead now, and that means that if we transition one more day forward, Audie will leave, and then one more day we will be able to go ahead and fill Audie's spot. So we have 23 tickets still, and there is a chance that we may even be able to, I accidentally pressed the button when I didn't mean to, we may even be able, we'll see, to get two villagers. Believe it or not, it took three days. That's it, it took three days. <laughs> that was it. Once I actually figured out what the hell I was doing, it took three days, that's ridiculous. Okay, so obviously we're gonna need to re-jump in. Isabel's gonna tell us that Audie's leaving and then we just go to the next day. I don't know if it matters if I would've skipped two days or not, um, but I feel like I should've logged in anyway just to make sure I saw Audie leave. <laughs> just to make sure. Um, and, but I can't actually go looking for anyone on the islands until the next day. So that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead. We have to reload the game twice, but that's fine. So we do have to do two days of time travel. If you don't play your game with time travel, that is absolutely fine. I think everyone should play the game however they want to. But of course, uh, we'll throw it out there again. Time traveling is not cheating. If you're somebody who's on the fence and you're like, oh, I want to time travel. Or if you're someone like me who does time travel, but maybe you feel a little guilty about it, stop it. It's not bad. You're not competing against anyone. This game is all about playing against yourself. It's not a big deal. So let it go. It's fine to go ahead and time travel. So that's what we're going to do for this one. So 23 tickets is all we're going to stick with. We're going to stick with our original 33. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we can find that new villager. So I'll remind you as we're going through here. So excited. My dog is not, but I'm so excited. We are looking for Cookie. We are looking for June. Yeah, here we go. Farewell to Audie. We are looking for Mint. We are looking for Blair. Those are the hopeful villagers that we have. And in 10 minutes, I'm going to have to install the new Mario update. Yes, I am like pushing the clock here, but that is all right with me. So this means that Audie is leaving. So all I have to do is go ahead and leave. So I'll go ahead, bring up the game again, and we will be ready to go on another adventure. So I'll see you guys back in just a sec. All right, ladies and gents, here we are. We're at the airport. Let's go ahead and get flying. 23 tickets to find our next villagers. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. All right, so I would prefer that we get either Cookie or June on this one. I'm not gonna be too picky if we do end up with Mint um, or if we end up with Blair, but I do prefer Cookie or June because we do have a lot of rodents. <laughs> But I really love squirrels. I'm sorry. It's funny, I, you know, of all the animals that I went and studied, I definitely love squirrels. <laughs> they, were, they were one of the animals I definitely could have seen myself becoming a squirrel biologist, but unfortunately that really wasn't a job. Um, <laughs> granted, I've made myself uh, a lot of jobs that weren't jobs before. I am so sorry about that. Guys, my pup has decided that everything is about him, <laughs> as usual. All right, I apologize. Oh, okay, bud. Wilderness training is the best, isn't it? Oh no, I don't want you, bud. Absolutely not. Jock villager is not my favorite. And even if it wasn't a jock villager, I, I can't say as though I'm enamored with your style, jock. Do you always wear sunglasses? Jock. I just said Jock when his name is Bud. Because in my brain, those two words are just 
It can be in our mix. Why not? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and head off. All right. So Blair, Mint, June, Cookie. Oh, please. I would even maybe take Goldie. I've had Goldie before and I did love Goldie. I really want to put a dog on my island because I love dogs too, but I will say that there is kind of a... There isn't very many dogs to choose from. That's something I noticed and it makes me a little sad. It just makes me a little sad. There's not that many dogs to choose from. I feel like there should be more puppy villages. But then again, I just personally really like dogs and think that all of them should be dogs. <laughs> or squirrels. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to have like one of different types on their islands and they tend to be like really careful and they'll have like one bird, one, you know, rodent. Not me. <laughs> I'm like, I like this one character design. Ah, uh, you're not Bo, right? You are a different one. Bruce, wasn't expecting to run into you. Well, much of anyone out here. You're so fancy, Bruce. Look at you. Bruce is a fancy boy. We don't want Bruce though, we don't want Bruce. I gave up one of the coolest villagers in the game. Audie is really cool, but I almost felt like she didn't match my kind of, I don't know, I feel like I have a really cute kind of setup going on and Audie was almost too cool for it. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I feel like we have a little bit more of a cutesy setup going on on our island here. But definitely Bruce doesn't match our island. Whew, I don't think he would be very happy. I wish your villagers could, like, have a happiness based on, like, how your island is decorated and stuff. That would be really cool, actually. All right, so we're going to use our Nook Miles ticket. I do really like the bear villagers just because I think they're really cute. Um, I wouldn't say no to Tammy, the bear Tammy, not the monkey Tammy don't like monkey Tammy, but I wouldn't say no to bear Tammy. Um, I probably wouldn't say no to Olive. Um, I absolutely love Maple, so I, I would prefer June. I would take Judy. Uh, Sherry's cute. Blue Bear's fine, I guess. I've had Blue Bear before and I wasn't that into her, but I guess that she's some people's dreamy. Um, I really like, and I can't say her name, but it's Picoe? I don't know how to say her name and I feel so guilty because I'll go to other people. What the hell? Your name is Olaf? Whiffa! Okay. I'm not into the anteaters. I had Serrano once. That was enough for me. Man, that was a look though. Gotta be honest, Olaf. You got a strong look there. I wish I knew how to say her name. I feel like such a dummy that I can't pronounce something. It seems like such a simple name, too. It's like hardly any words or any letters. Words? Well, of course. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, turns out my phone is currently on headphones. <laughs> I was like, trying to play the sound into the microphone and that did not work because currently it isn't playing through my headphones. So let's try this again. Pico. 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 Wait. Like Pico the Gallo? Wait, really? Oh, that makes me like her more. <laughs> Her name is Pico! Oh my gosh, I'm so into that. Okay, I would also say Pico, because it's such a cute name. I've screwed that up in so many videos now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, well, we have been joined, I'll warn you, by a small dog. Somebody has decided that barking is uh, all he wants to do tonight. Somebody wants a lot of attention, so I had to pick him up. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Go over here. Who are you? Walker. Nice to meet you. I'm Walker. I'm visiting this island today. Walker, you seem very cute, but 
I'm gonna guess that even though your voice doesn't seem that masculine, I'm gonna assume that you are a male dog. Yep, and you are lazy. Walker, you're very cute. I would have had you on my island, actually. But no, no. So we've got, let's see, in the, in the, the dogs, we have Portia, we have Maddie. Oh, I would take Maddie. Maddie's cute. Oh, I would take Maddie. Okay, and then we've got Daisy. Daisy's fine, but Cookie. Cookie's adorable. I've had Cherry already. In fact, Cherry was the one who got me most of my sisterly reactions. And then we've also got a bunch of male. Bunch of male dogs. We've got B, and that's all for the female dogs that we've got, aka the bitches. All right. Yes, if you are a child watching this video, you shouldn't be. But that is the actual name for a female dog, so you can't get mad at me. All right. If we were to go for a, like, gazelle, deer, cervid, much like Fauna. The problem is I really like Fauna, and I think she's adorable. But there's no other cervid I would want. Like, no other deer-style species. Bo is cute, but I don't want males on my, on my island. Like I said, feminist collective. Feminist collective. So we're going to try to hope to stick to bears or stick to maybe, maybe. I'm hoping bears or dogs this time. That's the hope. That's the hope. All right. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, looks like a man. Wolfgang. Don't believe we've met. My name is Wolfgang. I believe that one of my... My friends actually really liked Wolfgang. Or no, it was Chief. It was Chief. I'm sorry. I thought it was Wolfgang, but it was Chief that he was all like, rah, over. He really wanted Chief. And I was like, why? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. Man, I feel like I keep um, expanding the list of villagers I will take. <laughs> I do wish that Biscuit, if Biscuit was spelled Bizkit, I would take Bizkit. And I would only give him red hats and sweatshirts. And that would be like the best thing ever. But alas, he's spelt like bis kit instead of biz kit. But you know, that's just, that's just me. Okay, let's keep going. Gosh, I don't even know how many tickets we have left at this point. I haven't even looked. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. I let Adi go for this. So I've got to find someone good. I'm starting to regret letting Adi go, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna be- we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. The last time finding someone 10 tickets in was too much. Was too much. Okay, let's see how many we have right now. Okay, 17 tickets down. So we actually haven't even gone through that many. Oh wait, who are you? Okay, you look like a male sheep. You're not one of the female sheep, right? Oh, maybe you are a cashmere. I confess, I thought I might never run into anyone here. Cashmere, you could leave at any time. You know that, right? I don't know cashmere. But I know that I'm a little concerned that you are named after a, a sweater. Oh, it's a snooty female. No, thank you. I just saw Carlos, and I love Carlos. I've seen, I've seen him on other people's islands. Love him. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, would I take any of the sheep? I don't know. I had such a bad encounter with Pietro that I just don't know that I could handle another one. And Frida looks literally like a hot dog, which disturbs me. Because there are no sh mutton hot dogs, are there? Mutton dogs? Although now I really want a hot dog. I don't even like hot dogs. I just want one because I saw a sheep dressed as one. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We gotta do this right. We gotta do this right, Orville. Come on, send me somewhere good. I don't know if it's you or if it's Wilbur who's in charge, but one of you has to send me somewhere good. Come on, come on. Give mama the goods. I'm always hoping for the best. All right, here we go. You know who makes a really good hot dog, surprisingly? Five guys. Unfortunately, though, they make 
everything in peanut oil. So it tries to kill me. All right. <laughs> Wait, do I know you? Hi, I'm Muffy. Uh, uh, you know, Muffy, I love the idea of a goth sheep. I really do. Oh, a dermatologist goth sheep at that. But you're not on the list. Not on the list. In fact, I have a friend who would love you, Muffy. I have a friend who probably wants you. Oh, man. Sometimes when I do these, I purposely pick up someone I don't want so that I can give them to a friend. But in this case, we have a mission. We have a limited number of tickets. We are going for it. And I have a dog who is currently trying to reposition himself in my arms because he doesn't understand how complicated it is to game <laughs> while having a dog in your arms. My dog acts more like a cat. He, uh, he thinks he can jump everywhere and just exist in spaces that he can't exist in. Also, whereas normal people could like put an animal on their lap, right? I don't have a lap because I have no legs. <laughs> I'm very, very short. Um, literally, my legs are so short that I'm pretty much just knees and feet. <laughs> so it's very, very difficult for me to actually have a lap. I can't cross my legs. Um, I mean, I can cross my legs, but it's very, like, it's it's pointless. I can just put them on top of one another because it's easier. Like, that's how short my legs are. <laughs> there's no point in me crossing them because there's not much to cross. Is that, is that a pig? That must be a pig, because at first I thought it was a person. Oh, it's a koala. It's a koala who thinks he is Elvis Presley. All right, koala, what is your name? Eugene. Uh, and to think that that hamster and you had the same personality. Whew. All right. I feel- I get some strong Deacon vibes off of that dude, but we're gonna go ahead and get out of here because I am not looking to join any Animal Crossing New Horizons Railroad. We're gonna go ahead and keep going. Oh man, we are just- we're tearing it up. I mean, we're gonna find somebody someday. I can't believe how much farther we are into this. I may be pushing my luck. Oop, I may be pushing my luck because I already got what I wanted once. It may be like, excuse me, but you already got what you wanted once. Why are you trying again? All right, here we go. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. I sure do have some Nook Miles tickets. We are going to find the right person. We are going to find them. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm talking myself up as always because you gotta. You gotta. All right. Let's see. All right. Have a good flight. All right, so fingers crossed. Cookie. Love Cookie. June. Love June. I would even take Judy. She has a very, like, eclectic, very dreamy look to her. I like that. I personally am also into that kind of look. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. We have to climb. Climb. Can we? Oh. Who are you? Biddy. I don't believe we've met. I'm Biddy. I don't know if I like you, Biddy. I don't know if I like you. Are you snooty? That's the question. Well, the important thing is you're not on the list, so I have to leave, but... Oh, the little tail coming out of the dress always gets me! We have to let Biddy go, but Biddy is kind of cute! I don't know, I think it's the teeth! <laughs> I think it's the hippo teeth! <laughs> oh, hippos are cute, but they are incredibly dangerous. So we shouldn't be letting hippos on our island. Everybody knows how dangerous a hippo is. Especially with all the tiny squirrels we have on our island. Biddy is snooty, so yep, it's a good idea we didn't let Biddy on the island. We don't like snooty villagers on our island. Let's see what we're looking at now. We have 14 tickets. 14. It feels like we've done more than three since the last time I checked, though. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We are going to find the perfect person. I'm convinced we are. 
I refuse to be negative about this. I am always ready for you. Always ready for you, Orville. I guess I'm always ready for Wilbur? That 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 sounds wrong, but it kinda is on purpose. <laughs> I can't lie. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. We got this, we got this. Alright, alright. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Uh, ooh. I don't know who that is. I've never had a gator villager. And I don't know as though I want a gator villager. Plus, Alfonso. Alfonso. It's a me! Oh my god, you said it's a me. I kind of want you, but I don't, because I'm also about to install the Mario update. And I'll be honest. <laughs> Sorry, I love when he says stuff. <laughs> it's just, I love his little, um, uh, oh god, what is that called? Phonetic alphabet. I love his phonetic alphabet. I think I think he's fantastic. Alrighty. <sighs> Here we go. We have to find somebody. I can't believe how much longer this one is taking than the last one. That's a shock to me. Okay. We are more than packed. We are more than ready. Let's get out of here, dude. Come on. You might hear me clicking my buttons over and over again. That's because I have a habit if I want to hurry through something of just clicking my buttons repeatedly <laughs> until they stop talking. It's a bad habit. But honestly, how many of you can say you don't have that habit? All right. Here we go. Chop some bees and catch some trees. Got it. Oh, what is going on here? Is this a duck? Wow, Mayel. I don't even have to ask. Darling, you are snooty. You are so snooty. I could feel the snootiest coming off your snoot. It was so snooty, it felt snootful. It's amazing how many Nook Miles tickets this really actually took. I've had over 100,000 Nook Miles tickets forever, and I finally dipped under 100,000 Nook Miles tickets to buy the 33 that I bought. And I was kind of amazed, because it's been so long since I've been under 100,000. I honestly never try to earn them anymore, because I just... There's no reason to have them. I, I don't understand the point of having them um, at this point. <laughs> All right, so this should be our 11th ticket. All right, time for takeoff. Let's go, let's go. Give me something good. Come on, come on. Come on, Orville. Make me your friend. Make new friends. I really do want a good friend, Orville. I really do. I need a good friend. Okay, we are ready. We are excited. Okay, back on this island. I don't love this island, but oh, it's Tia. It's Tia! I already had Tia on my island. I can't stand her. Um, she's really cute, don't get me wrong, but there's something about an anthropomorphic elephant tea kettle that freaks me out. I, I just find it creepy. I don't know, it bothers me, but I actually did bring her to the island at one point. And earlier when I mentioned, you know, sometimes I'll bring animals home that other people want, that I brought Tia home and, and put her in boxes for somebody else once. And it was just so painful to have her on my island. I was like, ah, oh, I have to have Tia here for like 25 minutes. Oh, I don't like Tia. Sorry, I just... Oh. It's it's just the whole uncanny valley thing of it being an elephant, but also being a teapot. I don't I don't like that. I don't like it. Okay. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think we are officially at number ten. Oh man, this is this is getting down there. We're getting down there. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Whew. Yep, 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 yep. 
go chop some bees and catch the trees. Yep, I gotcha. I gotcha. That's probably not that funny, but I grew up in a family where everyone said things like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh! Uh, why can't I remember your name? Winnie! You were on my island before, Winnie! I've already had you! Oh, I've already had Winnie on my island. I wish I knew who you already had. Darn it. I think I invited Winnie actually once. Oh, you might hear some licking. That would be my dog. Trying to give me kisses. I think he's like, Mom, it is too late for you to be playing that computer. He doesn't understand. Yes, I said playing that computer. He doesn't understand. When I record, I play through the computer. <laughs> he just thinks I'm a weird human, I'm sure. All right. Boys, boys. I trust you, I really do. But you're not giving me what I want here, guys. All right. Nook Miles ticket, let's use it. Ready to get you in the sky right now. Go ahead, go ahead. Tell me more, tell me more. Actually, don't, don't do that, don't do that. Okay. All right, here we go. Got a walker who needs to be a flyer. Oh, okay, get me out of here, gentlemen. I'm very excited to be moving down. Here we go. Please, 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 please give me someone good. Not even gonna go any farther. Not even gonna go. I know you're like a, a jock hawk. Jock hawk. Yep, jock hawk. That's what I'm gonna say. Don't even know your name. I don't even have to guess. I don't have to look at me. Darn it. I think I am gonna be screwed on this one. I'm gonna be so sad if I don't end up with somebody. I'm gonna be so sad. I just want this to work out. Okay. Come on, gentlemen. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do have a Nook Miles ticket. If I don't get anyone, I'm either going to have to take the last person I run into or let it autofill. And if it autofills, oh, it's going to be so bad. It's going to be so bad. Okay. All right, here we go, here we go. We are ready, we are ready. Let's see how many we have left. We probably don't have many tickets left, do we? Eight, I was gonna say seven. Ah, oh, I regret not saying. I've run into him twice now, that's not even fair. That's not even fair, Wilbur. Oh, bell bottom, rockabilly, glockenspiel. I love the word glockenspiel. Oh, you know, I'm sorry to everyone who's not German, but some of the best words come out of Germany. At least I think glockenspiel is German. It sounds German. I'm basing that mostly on like schadenfreude and all the cool words. Schnitzel. I love schnitzel. That's such a cool word. I love schnitzel as a word. I don't, I've never eaten schnitzel, but it's a fun word. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. We're ready. Oh, Wilbur. Wilbur. Set me down somewhere good, buddy. Set me down somewhere good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Come on. Go. All right. All right. We can only do this six more times after this. Al! No! Al is like one of the worst! No! You might as well give me Rodney back. Oh, that's not true, because Al at least is very sweet and Rodney is a dick. But come on! Really? Oh, you guys are killing me on this one! You're killing me, not killing it. I just want to make that clear. Ah, oh, come on. 
You are literally murdering me, boys. You're murdering me. Do, 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 do. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, don't keep doing this to me, please, God. My tools are packed. We are ready to go. We want to get out of here, please, Lord. Tell me something good. I can't sing anymore. I'm getting to the point where my voice is going. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, this is why this is why the dog wanted me to stop playing. He was like, Mom, you're just gonna get more and more disappointed. You've gotta stop. Oh, this is what I get for trying to be Okay, wait a minute. This is Marcy, isn't it? Marcy? Okay, okay, hold on. Marcy is sisterly or normal? Okay, hold on, hold on. I might just take Marcy. I'm so afraid she's normal. Okay. I hear you. Let's just do that for now. Her Joey acts exactly like her. She is very cute. Now that I'm really getting a good look at Marcy. Oh, this is hard. I could just take Marcy. Or I could risk it with the next six tickets. Oh, okay. Here's one thing I can do. I have access to every single amiibo card currently out. Obviously not any of the new ones, like I can't get Dom or anything. So yes, if you're like, now you're like, wait, what? So we didn't even have to do a villager hunt? No, <laughs> but I wanted to, cause it's a little bit more fun. Oh, then it's just inviting to the campsite and just like forcing someone to move in. I can leave Marcy here and not take her with me. She's a teacher. And your birthday's in May. It's almost your birthday, Marcy. And you're like no one else on my island. All right. I have to do it. We're taking Marcy. We're taking Marcy. I know she wasn't on the list. But here's the thing. Especially now that I've spent more time learning about the the kangaroos. I want Marcy on my island. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna put Marcy on the island. I can't believe I just accepted Marcy. I can't believe I just accepted Marcy. Okay, we have Marcy on the island. We are still gonna move Cat off the island. I do feel guilty about moving Cat off the island since she's been with me literally for almost a year now. Um, it'll be a year this summer, but I feel like it's time for a change and this game is designed to have people come in or villagers, excuse me, in and out of your life. So we're going to tuck away these Nook Miles tickets and we are just going to wait till Kat wants to leave and then we'll do this again. We took Marcy. I can't believe I took Marcy. Okay, so now our new, our new makeup is going to be Maple, Fauna, Cat, Callie, Nibbles, Poppy, Silvana, Peanut, Caroline, and Marcy. And I think this is good. I think I have to stop having only rodents on my island. So I think this is good. I think it's good. I think it's good. I feel confident in my decision. So we're going to go ahead and let it go. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. If you like this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Go ahead and click on that picture of my big dumb face. That'll help you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you would like to, go ahead and click on that bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I post a brand new video. There should also be some random videos there on your screen if you'd like to check out more of my content. Also, if you are itching to see more stuff and maybe you'd like to see some exclusives, you can go ahead and click in the lower left-hand corner there. That is my Patreon where you can get exclusive videos. And all of those people that you see in the middle there, those are their Twitter handles. Those are individuals who are currently my patrons over on Twitter at the time of the recording of this video. Thank you so much to all of those folks because that's the only reason I can keep this channel going. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here though. So we'll see you all in the next one.